Dear friends and colleagues, I am so sorry I cannot be with you in Toronto to hear more about your work and share in your successes and experiences over the past 12 months. As you know, these are tough times for those committed to advancing human rights. In too many corners of the world, we see war and conflict ravaging the lives of many, also undermining human rights in the process. Too many politicians are still playing with hate, fear and division. Too many human rights defenders face constant danger and vilification for speaking truth to power. For us in Amnesty International, we have experienced such repression over the last year that I have been here at Amnesty. We've had our offices raided, we have our bank accounts shut down in India, we've had activists arrested and much more. But this is the story of civil society around the world and that is why the work we do as Amnesty right now is critically important. Too little is being done globally to tackle the overarching and existential threat of climate change, which today is one of the biggest human rights challenges that humanity faces. It is up to us as Amnesty International and the wider human rights movement to be bigger, bolder and more inclusive than ever before. Later this year, in Canada, you face a pivotal national election in which the consequences for Canada and human rights will be decided. Important issues, including refugees at risk, divisive climate change rhetoric, and the failure to stand firm for the rights of indigenous peoples in the face of major resource development projects are in question, all against the backdrop of demonization and the politics of hate. At such a time, it is vital that Canada stands firm against these ugly currents. The fantastic work you carry out challenges this worrying momentum every day, and I support and stand with you in this endeavor. On behalf of all of us, everywhere in Amnesty International from different parts of the world, I extend to you our best wishes for a successful annual general meeting and again express my solidarity with all you are doing, what we can do to bring human rights to the center of the national and global consciousness. My warmest wishes to all of you. I hope you have a memorable annual general meeting and I hope that I will be able to join you in future years. Thank you very much.